Happy Friday, 719. Wanted to take a few minutes and talk about uh, APA. Uh, as most of you know, APA is the uh, writing format, referencing format that we use in the faculty um, across all of our courses. So um, I know APA can be a pretty significant source of stress for a lot of students. Uh, it's, as you all know, it's pretty it's kind of finicky and it's pretty nitpicky and um, it's always changing, which is really frustrating. I think we're on the seventh or eighth edition now, I'm not sure. Um, but I wanted to just kind of uh, bring a, a bit of a sense of calm around APA. I'm not a total APA stickler. Um, you're not going to lose marks over APA if I see an honest effort that you've given it a, a good shot. Uh, I know, you know, you guys are well into your 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 thesis program, and, and so I know, I suspect most of you have some pretty solid experience with APA. Um, I myself, I used to know APA very, very well, um, but most of my writing right now, um, well, probably the last 12, 13 years, has been in more um, clinical focused or medical journals. And as you know, um, those journals don't require APA, they require um, one of the other formats. So whether it's the American Medical Association or the Vancouver style, uh, as you know, there's hundreds of styles out there. Um, I still have a pretty good grasp on APA, but I'm certainly not an expert as well. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say here is um, do your best. You're not going to lose marks over APA. Um, if there's a complete disregard for APA, then then certainly there could be um, some marks taken off of um, whatever it might be. But um, I I do a post like this at the beginning of every course, and I and I don't think I've come across somebody that's had a complete disregard for APA. So and with all that said, our faculty requires that all thesis formats be in APA format. So it's good to try to get a handle on it now because when you go to submit your final thesis, well, I guess your, your thesis proposal to your committee and then your final thesis product to the Faculty of Graduate Studies and to the library repository, they're gonna require that your documents be in APA. So let's give it a good shot now and um, let's not, uh, have any anxiety or, or, or stress over AP. I don't want that to take away from you learning about how to write a really good proposal. And you can write a really good proposal without doing APA. That, that, that has no reflection or bearing on the content and your ideas. So it's just a style of writing. Of It's not even a style of writing. It's a formatting style as well as a referencing and citation style. That's all it is. So, yeah, that's my, my short little ramble on, on APA. I think you all have an APA resource of some sort. I always defer, I don't even have the APA book anymore, but I refer to, and I'll post the website, it's a website out of um, Purdue University, and it's called the Purdue Owl, like, like the bird. And I think if you just Google Purdue, P-U-R-D-U-E, Owl, um, up it will come, and it gives excellent... It has a table of contents starting from title page, um, you know, how to format tables and figures. It gives you referencing and citation examples, and it even gives you uh, examples of different papers. And so you can click on the Word document or the PDF, whatever it is, and you can um, have a look through there. Uh, I'm also going to, um, at some point, either today or early next week, uh, I have, of course, I have several students that have completed their thesis and um, I just want to get their permission but I want to post their thesis proposals as well for you and that just you know you, there's no sense in going into writing a thesis proposal blind it, it's good to have an example um, and you can kind of use that as a bit of a, a cookie cutter or a template you know that's how they did their title page so you know you can mimic your title page to look like that um, you know same thing with uh, headings and subheadings. I know those can get a little bit confusing, but I want to post some examples for you so you have some concrete examples, um, practical examples that are actually from our faculty and, and kind of nursing, 
um, health research related as well. So it's not, um, I know sometimes when you go onto these websites and you, and you get an, a, a sample paper and it's something from um, archaeology or some wild uh, different academic discipline that might not really relate to what it is that we're all doing. So, all right. Uh, hey, this is good. I'm only at five minutes, so I'll cut it off right there. Thanks, everyone. Chat soon.